Hi guys, welcome to Easy Weezy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today we are going to propagate uh, fuchsia uh, from cuttings. So uh, you know fuchsia is a beautiful uh, flower. It has these dangling flowers, and you know depending on the color and uh, you know the strength of the petals. You know sometimes they have double layer, sometimes single layer. But they look so beautiful, and they like uh, partial. They like partial uh, sun, and uh, and this summer, you know, they have been blooming uh, like crazy, and uh, so now I want to propagate, make more plants from it. So that's what we are going to do today. So here is our fuchsia plant, and uh, it is almost uh, done blooming it's almost end of the summer you know one or two flowers are still uh, coming and if you look at it it's so beautiful so uh, you need a, a, a shears to cut the cuttings and uh, you want to uh, wipe it with you know normal household uh, rubbing alcohol so I have this paper towel that I have uh, uh, put the rubbing alcohol on that and now I'm just going to uh, clean my shears with that. So then what happens is that it is sterilized and uh, when you uh, cut uh, the branches, you know, you are not, uh, it, I mean, basically this is uh, sterile and uh, when you cut it, you are not passing any infection from your shears to uh, the branches. So that is done now. Uh, so now we have to take a few of these branches. So the best branches are where you know the flowers are growing. So then what happens is that when the flower is growing, the, so the plant is sending a lot of energy uh, to this uh, stem uh, for the flower. So this is a growth period for this stem. So if you cut it, then uh, you know it will continue to grow and that's what you want uh, that is one thing the so second thing is that you want to make sure so uh, that there are at least uh, three to four nodes in each cutting so what are nodes so basically in any branch the place from where uh, the leaves grow that's called a node so like uh, this place and it is also called nub, you know, a uh, uh, slightly swollen uh, stem from where the leaves grow. Potentially, that's the place from where the roots will also grow. So when you put it in the um, rooting medium, uh, you know, a couple of nodes should go inside the rooting medium and a couple of nodes should stay outside. So the inside one will develop roots and the outside one will develop uh, leaves. So that's what you want to do. So this one I'm definitely going to cut and just cut below the node. So if you look at this, here is the node from where these two leaves are growing. So I have just cut below the node and it has one, two, three, four and five nodes in it. So this is one and this is another one where the flower is growing. So I'm just going to cut this one also below the node. So this node. I'm going to cut this and because there are not that many flowers because you know when the flowers are growing you <laughs> want to enjoy the flowers so uh, I'm going to cut a few more uh, from different places uh, so I'll make about six cuttings okay so now for each cutting remove all the bottom leaves because you know uh, leaves require a lot of energy to sustain and uh, you know the, the, the cutting has nothing to give to leaf so you want to reduce the energy consumption of the uh, cutting so this cutting is ready good I'm going to do the same thing with every cutting. Remove all the bottom leaves. 
and you want to leave a couple of leaves uh, at the top so that they can continue doing photosynthesis uh, for the uh, cutting. So here is another one ready. And uh, one thing I forgot to tell you that when you are doing the uh, the day you want to make the cuttings, you should uh, water the plant thoroughly a uh, few hours before that so that you know all the stems are properly hydrated. So here you have to cut the flower away because the flower has a lot of petals and it will require a lot of energy. So you want to cut that off and leave leave a couple of leaves on the top so cut off the uh, so this is like a thin cutting so our cuttings are ready you know they all have you know a couple of leaves on the top and uh, no flower and no leaves at the bottom so now we are going to plant it. So here in this divided planter, first of all, I want to use divided planter so that, you know, when you are transplanting it and if you want to just uh, transplant one, the others don't get this stuff. So, you know, that way I like divided uh, planter. Second, it has a lot of cocoa peat. So it is like one part cocoa peat, one part compost and half part perlite. So cocoa peat, you know, keeps it moist. And that's what you need for these stems to grow. It, they need to stay warm and moist. So uh, you have to keep it in a place where it's slightly warm and you have to keep it moist. Uh, and not only the part that is going inside the soil, but also the part that is outside. And I'll show you how to do that. So that's the soil. And uh, then I'm going to use uh, rooting hormone because what happens is that rooting hormone basically um, prevents any rotting of the uh, stem. So I'm going to just uh, dip uh, the stem. Okay, and when you are make, uh, dipping the stem in the rooting hormone, you should never uh, dip the stem in the rooting hormone container. Always take out some. Because, you know, this, whatever infection this stem may have, if you just put it in your uh, rooting hormone uh, bottle, even that will get effect, uh, 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 infected and you don't want that. So you shouldn't put uh, the, the, you shouldn't dip the stem in the bottle. Okay, now, so when you want to plant it, instead of, you know, just putting it inside like this, then what will happen is that all this rooting hormone will just get wiped off in the soil. So you want to make a hole and then put it in so that it stays there. And just make sure like, you know, this is one node and this is another node. So make sure that like, you know, this is a six inches uh, long uh, stem. These two nodes go inside and uh, so potentially the roots will grow from this and this. In fact, I can just put the rooting hormone in on this node also. Okay, now I just put it in here and then just press it. Same thing with all these. So whatever nodes are going inside, you want to just cover them with rooting hormone. Then make a hole and then put it in. So these are all planted. Now you want to water these. So 
now how do you keep the top part of the plant uh, uh, moist so for that i have these uh, you know uh, skewers i'm going to put these four skewers in the four corner of the planter like this and now i'm going to cover it with a clear plastic bag and this i'm going to make some holes uh, on top of uh, the bag because you don't want uh, this to be air tight so what will happen is and it you have to use clear plastic bag so what will happen is that wherever you keep it you know the light will go inside and if there is indirect sunlight coming that will go inside and it will warm up uh, the cuttings but when the water evaporates uh, from this uh, planter because most of it is covered in plastic bag so you know some will escape because it is not tightly uh, placed on it but you know some will stay in there so it that will keep the cuttings uh, humid and that's what you know the cuttings need and now i'm going to keep it in a shaded area where it gets uh, you know indirect sunlight and they stay warm and then uh, let's see and uh, so every once in a while like you know maybe in, in a couple of days i'll just remove the plastic bag and mist uh, the stems and also check keep on checking the water in the planter you know if it is moist that's fine if it dries up then you just uh, uh, water it again so i'll keep you posted how they are doing it's been a few months that we planted these fuchsia cuttings and now you know after a uh, first few weeks i moved it out because weather was nice and now it is the winters have started and it is in my outside tent the garden tent and if you look at these these two look it looks like that these two have started to grow because they look healthy and leaves are new leaves are coming up and even this one if you look at this you know a small green leaf is coming up so uh, like if you look at this 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 is completely dry and even this one is looking completely dry so these are these didn't work out even this one but this this and this one they it seems like they have taken roots so i'm really happy and i'll keep you posted so another month or so has passed and if you look at this now you can see much more growth uh, in both these cuttings now this one you know i was hoping that it will survive but actually it dried and i don't see any root in this so this probably never survived you know i just that small green thing was probably remainder of uh, the previous leaves but if you look at these these are healthy and they have lot more new leaves so they these have definitely survived so basically uh, you take uh, a cutting at least 4 5 inches long it should have a few uh, nodes and uh remove the bottom leaves uh, dip them in rooting hormone and just put it in uh, a rooting medium which is rich in coco peat because you want to keep it moist and then cover it with plastic bag for a couple of weeks at least and then keep uh, these cuttings in an area where it, they get lot of indirect light and uh, there's a lot of air flow you know. so i moved it out after some time and So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.